Hello guys, welcome to today's vlog. It is Wednesday, 7.45 in the evening. In the evening! In my pajamas because, well, I live in the pajamas these days. You know, just 2020 life. Um, I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine and we'll have a little chat. We have this beautiful bottle of Chardonnay. Oh, I definitely... When I was cracking the bottle yesterday, I asked my dad which one I should go for, the Chardonnay or the Sauv Sauvignon Blanc? Sauv Sauv I don't know. And he definitely told me to go for this one, and for some reason, I guess I just didn't look and I opened up this one. So I am drinking the Chardonnay. Just a little baby glass. Also, I'm wearing eyelashes today. Very fun. Okay, hey, how's it going? Hold on, let me turn off the music. Ah, <sighs> you're too tall. Let's bring it down a notch. So, uh, this has been a tough week. It's been a roller coaster of a week and it's only Wednesday. Monday kind of started a process that I don't know if I was really ready for or expecting or I, I know. I could have never expected where things are gonna go. I spoke to a lawyer yesterday, I spoke to a lawyer today and through all of that, I've gotten a sense of an understanding of what's gonna happen here. And it, it really wasn't something that I expected at all, but I am wrapping my head around it. Everything is fine, everything is okay. And I think with having an understanding of what's gonna happen going forward, I'm able to really be okay about it and like relax here. So I feel okay. We're gonna go on quite the journey. Uh, and I, of course, will bring you along and you guys have no idea what journey we're going on, but that's the fun of surprises, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna try to uh, twist this into the positive light then. I always try to do when uh, in negative situations. There's always a positive to any situation or most situations. And I always try to find the positive when I can. So this is one of those times where, you know, unexpected things happen and shitty things happen, but you just gotta try your best to make the most out of them. And that's what I'm gonna do. So as of like this afternoon, we kind of had settled on a way to move forward from this issue I've been dealing with. And we're gonna start, I guess, moving forward. I don't know, I just want to sit down and talk. I've always sat here and talked to you guys whenever I feel like, I don't know, I just, it helps me to process things, to talk to you guys about them and just to get it out. Like you guys let me vent which is ideal. That's also why I share some, a lot of the hard times that I go through that a lot of people, you know, would be like, why, why are you sharing this? It's like a therapy session, like sitting here and, and talking to you guys. I'm talking to myself, which is what's so weird. But I've been doing this for so many years that that's my way of talking through and understanding situations is by talking to my camera here alone in my living room. Ah, this is one hell of a year. You know, like the stress of everything going on in the world right now, top on personal problems. It's just like, it's so overwhelming. It's hard to process anything because of how much there is to process. This year just like, I mean, I, I know this goes for everyone, but I just remember New Year's Eve feeling so ready for this new decade and like 2020 is gonna be the best year ever. And I know everyone thought that. Everyone was like 2020, like this, this year is gonna be it. And I think this week it just really hit me, the anxiety of everything. I've been very positive and like able to post four times a week on YouTube and just from my home, like I'm not doing anything. I'm just like you guys it, pretty much in quarantine. Obviously I've seen some people, but for the most part I'm home. Like 95% of the time I am home and I am somehow creating content. Like it's, I don't know how I'm doing it. I have no idea. Sometimes I see comments saying, oh, this is so repetitive. All we do is see you eat your breakfast and make your coffee and sit outside in your egg chair. And I so get that, it is repetitive. My life is the most repetitive it's ever been ever right now because we're all, it, we're living in a pandemic. Like you wake up and you, you just try to get through the day. Um, and if I'm getting through the day with a delicious matcha, fine. Like that's it, like that's all I have. That's all I have to show you guys. And it's kind of hard because sometimes I wonder like, should I just not be vlogging this much? Should I not be posting this much because I just don't really have anything of quality, to be completely honest, to share? Like, I don't really think any of these vlogs are like top quality entertaining content. I feel like it's mundane bullshit that I'm doing just to get through the day. And I know a lot of people appreciate that kind of content, but it's just weird because when I see the comments saying how repetitive this is, I get it and I, I, I realize people say uh, this is boring and I'm like, I know, <laughs> like my life, I, I'm bored with life right now. Life is not exciting or fun or new or anything like that. Like we are waiting for this to end and it just is not ending. It's, um, 
we have a long ways to go. Like I, I think the rest of the year is just, this is what it's gonna be. With everything starting to shut down again in LA, and this isn't even technically the second wave. Like we have a ways to go here. I don't know how to continue creating content out of my home when I'm doing the same thing that you guys are doing, you know, just like sitting around and, and trying to find anything to like entertain myself, you know? <laughs> like I'm looking around, like what do I do all day? I don't even know. I buy weird products. Like I, I buy like eyebrow stuff and I try that out. Like that was an activity for my day and that was literally my only activity for the day. You know, I, I don't know. I just feel like this is a hard time to be like a creator. I don't know. I, I never know what to call myself. I just feel like I'm human that happens to be sharing my life. Like, I don't really feel like I have a job title. I'm just like doing what I love and it for some reason makes me money. I don't know. It's the coolest thing in the world. I sometimes still can't believe it. And all the comments on the last vlog were so kind. I was like fully prepared for people to be really frustrated with me for talking about having a hard day. But everyone was so kind and sharing how no one's alone in the hardships right now. And I just, it was so, it was a really nice thing to read today, especially with like the YouTube drama going on with, I don't even want to go into that. It was just really nice to see my community in the comments all share their struggles. And I think with doing that, it makes everyone feel less alone in a really hard time. Like it's, people are having their own personal hard times on top of the ridiculous state of the world that we're living in. Like there is so much to process every single day. I don't know how anyone can, can do it. I certainly cannot. I look at the news every morning and all throughout the day. And by the time I go to sleep, I have a headache. I just feel like the world is just like, I'm not even gonna go into it because it's, it's unbelievable. I've had a lot of people ask me about my visa status just because of all the new immigration stuff. Uh, my visa is thankfully 100% fine. I'm not at risk here at all. I have my visa for another four and a half years. So, you know, here's hoping the world gets a little bit better by then, so I don't have a problem in four and a half years. 2024 has to be a better time in the world, right? <sighs> this is kind of nice. I feel like we're just sitting down having a conversation. I hope it's okay with you guys. I don't know. I, what are your thoughts on creating content right now? Like, what do you guys honestly want to see from me? Do you want to see me vlog less, but maybe have more interesting content? Although I don't really know what I can do to make things more interesting. I'm literally just at home. I, I, I really don't know. It's not like I can go out and do all these fun adventures. Like, it's a pandemic out there. I'm trying to stay home as much as I can, obviously. So, and I feel like I've just done all of the home content. Like I've done so much. I don't, there's only so many things that I can do. Um, and then on top of that, like this is gonna be the rest of the year. How am I supposed to create fun, different content? For the rest of the year. I don't know. I don't know guys. I don't know. <sighs> well this has been a nice Wednesday conversation. I really enjoyed it actually. I'm just talking to myself but this feels nice. Maybe I should go live sometime. Maybe do we do like just a little mini Q&A and then call this the vlog? I don't know if this is gonna be like a bummer for you guys to see like not a normal vlog today but I don't know. I don't know guys. I don't know. I don't know. Okay I've posted on Instagram and we shall wait and see what kind of questions you have for me. I'm kind of looking forward to December just to see like the amount of stuff that's gone on the first half of the year. What is coming for us? You know, like what is gonna happen? And just to see where we all started at the beginning of 2020 versus where we ended. Very interested. I think my life in December 2020 is going to look nothing, nothing like January 2020. Like. Like everything will be different, everything. That's what I'm pretty sure about, pretty sure about that. And that's really weird. Also weird to think like, I don't even know when I'm gonna see my parents again. The borders are closed. I can't really go back to Canada. With everything immigration wise, I don't really think it's safe for me to go back to Canada. I just don't know how it would be getting back to the US. And then I sure as hell don't want my parents to get on a plane and sit on a plane for five hours to come here. I don't know when I'm gonna see them. Which definitely stresses me out. I cried to my mom the other day. I was like, I. It's just a lot. This is the longest I've ever been away from my mom since I was born. That makes me wanna cry. <sighs> okay, let's see what kind of questions we have. <laughs> is the guy still a thing? Will it turn into a relationship? Yes, and I don't know. Were you friends with your ex's friends? Yes, and I still talk to them to this day. Best part of quarantine so far? Well, as a natural introvert, or no, I actually like to say I'm an introverted extrovert. So I'm extroverted 
but I'm an introverted extrovert, you know? I, I, like, I like time to myself. I love being alone. And also I was going through a breakup right as this kind of started and it really, it really helped me focus on myself and learn how to be alone again because everyone was alone. I didn't have FOMO or anything like that. It was, it was the perfect timing. Someone asked, why do you still follow Shane Dawson on Twitter? Actually, I don't know and I'm gonna be unfollowing immediately. Not to get too involved in drama, but unfollow. Oop, sorry. I haven't watched any of like the drama videos, but I have seen enough to know I want no part in that. What is your ideal type? Tall, dark, handsome. That has always been my type growing up. I always dated that, that type. As I got older, for some reason, I went for lighter haired men, but my ideal visual was always, you know, dark features. And that's just obviously the uh, physical stuff, I guess, personality-wise. I want them to be funny, genuine, and just like overall, like you meet them and you're like, oh, that's a really good person. You know, when you meet them right off the bat, you just have that feeling of like, that's a really good person and I want to spend time with them. That's what I want. Do you have any siblings? For those of you that don't know, I have a brother. He is 23. He is a very, very smart guy, like smart, smart. Just graduated on the Dean's List. Uh, from a really good school in Canada from aerospace engineering. And I'm very proud to say he's my brother. Would you get your dream car or practical car for buying your first car in LA in the future? I'd probably get a Tesla to be, <laughs> to be completely honest. I think if I ever decide that I wanna drive and have a car, I would probably get a Tesla, just to be honest. How are you making it through your rough patch? I just keep crying every day. Me too. <laughs> but that's okay. I think a good cry is important and it's it feels good to cry sometimes. Cry, listen to sad music, and then when you've had like your full cry, put on like fun, upbeat music, have a dance party. That, that's how I get through it. Would you like to have a boyfriend or you are fine alone right now? I'm very fine alone. If I end up with a boyfriend, that's cool, but I absolutely don't need one. And I think that's the perfect place to be in. Like I don't feel like I've talked to you guys about me talking to somebody, but I feel like it's a really good time to be dating because I don't need anybody. Like if things don't end up working out with whoever I've been talking to, um, that's very much okay. Like, I don't know, I just feel really good in my own skin. and I don't feel like I need anybody to make me happy. It's a really good feeling. That's actually where I'm gonna leave this. I feel like I've been talking forever and I don't even know how I went into a q and I, I didn't think to have this, I didn't think I was gonna have this kind of conversation. I thought I would do a regular vlog, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like this is kind of nice. It's just different. It felt good to just sit and talk to you guys. I hope you guys feel the same way. I guess I'm gonna end this vlog here. Wow, so weird. I didn't think this was gonna happen, but here we are. I haven't even finished my little baby glass of wine. But yeah, I love you guys so much. And I'm so grateful for you all. Um, yeah, I will see you guys on Monday with the next vlog. Nice